of the common questions I get is what's better, hot or cold aisle containment? And um, studies, uh, both theoretical and uh, real world studies have shown that hot and cold aisle containment are equally effective if implemented fully. Um, and that's a big if. If implemented fully, they're equally efficient. And they're really the same thing. All we're doing is separating, creating a defined flow path for the cold air and a defined flow path for the exhaust hot air back to the cooling units. Where you separate it is what you call it. If you're separating it in near the at the cold aisle level, cold aisle containment. If you're separating it uh, near the hot aisle on the return path, then it's hot aisle containment. So let's some, look at some of the benefits of hot aisle containment. Um, the open area of the room is the cold environment. So when you open the door, you're going to feel the cool side of the, the containment, the cool spot side of the environment. And, and that can be a big factor for a lot of people. Uh, tours, guests, board members don't enjoy opening a door and getting hit in the face by 100, 100 degree air. It just doesn't seem right to them, even though it might be very efficient. When you're doing hot aisle containment, any leakage from the raised floor, misplaced supply tiles, leakage under uh, electrical equipment, uh, all that leakage just goes and enters the cold space and is available potentially to cool IT equipment. It can flow through the room and, and tile placement is not as critical. It's generally more effective because it's easier to implement fully, um, primarily for that reason of uh, when you do uh, hot aisle containment, or when you do cold aisle containment, um, the rest of the room becomes hot. Hot aisle containment will be more forgiving for the racks and the standalone equipment. This is really um, important for networking equipment that doesn't necessarily have a contained or um, sit in a hot and cold aisle configuration. Uh, the open space is cold and so you can place equipment anywhere in that space and it'll have some cooling. Hot aisle containment can perform well in a slab environment. Um, and with a well-designed uh, space, a standard um, grid fire suppression system can be used and installed around a hot aisle containment um, and still meet code. Uh, this enables more surface area, building mass for cold storage in the cold area because the bulk of the room is, is cool rather than the bulk of the room being kept at a hot, uh, in a hot state. Uh, so that creates more ride through in the event of a cooling failure. Benefits of cold aisle containment, it's generally easier to implement. Uh, you don't need the architecture uh, that's required for hot aisle containment. All you have to do is slap some doors on the ends of the aisle and, and baffles or a roof over the top of the cold aisle and, and you've got cold aisle containment. Um, it's generally less expensive to implement for that reason. And um, it's going to be easier to retrofit for an existing data center. Some of the challenges of hot aisle containment, it requires a contained path for the air to flow from the hot aisle back to the cooling units. And um, that's most commonly takes the form of a drop ceiling used as a ceiling plenum return. Now, retrofitting an existing space uh, with a drop ceiling to have a flow path means that you might have a lot of um, dust. It might be a very dirty space up there and that needs to be cleaned, as well as effects to the fire suppression system. It might require more gas um, if you are now using that above space for uh, the flow path. And um, high temperatures in the hot aisle, uh, they really get exaggerated. This can be mitigated by, you know, temporarily placing supply tiles in the hot aisle where somebody is working um, and other other means limiting the time. But this is this is I know this is an issue that very often comes up of why people can't do hot aisle containment or with it, why they won't do hot aisle containment very effect thoroughly. Um, but these issues can be mitigated. I mean people do work in steel mills that are way worse environments than than a hot aisle in a data center. So it can be addressed. 
Cold dial containment challenges, the remainder of the data center becomes hot, as I mentioned. You just, it, it really becomes an uncomfortable space to open the door to and to walk around. Um, there may not be a suitable temperature uh, profile for equipment for whatever reason is not compatible with, you know, the hot and cold aisle configuration, you know, so that standalone equipment is going to be out in a hot space and it's going to be a little harder to cool. Or if you do cool it, you know, by putting a supply tile, then it somewhat compromises the overall design of the solution and uh, requires consideration of um, fire suppression. So you need either drop away panels or the uh, mechanical system um, mechanical system to open the ceiling upon smoke detection you know there's a number of issues around fire suppression mm -hmm.